to help them kind of see that connection, that it's not just for an hour at Zebra Zone, but it's for their life. Um, and we want these kiddos to grow up to be people of characters. I know that you do too. So um, we also need your help up in the stands. Same rules apply. Stay on your pockets if at all possible. Um, try not to move around because those bleachers are old and they're creaky. Um, stay quiet, please, and just show the little guys down here how to be a great audience. We also ask that you don't do restroom breaks unless it's an absolute emergency um, because there again, it just kind of creates a lot of commotion. So we really appreciate your help and your support and um, I think we're ready to start the show, okay? Show me how to be good, quiet listeners and have a great time. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Zebra Zone. Kids, this is a place where we get to bring our parents to help them learn about our character trait for this month. We've been learning all about it in our classes. Here at Zebra Zone, we learn about character traits that teach us to be zebras of integrity, whether it be honesty or trustworthiness. Whatever the character trait is, we want to try to apply those to our lives. So instead of telling you about our character trait for this month, we thought we'd let you guys reveal it to your parents. So kids, on the count of three, let's give a drum roll, and we're going to yell it as loud as we can. Here's your chance to be loud. You ready? One. Here we go. Give me a drum roll. Two.
because today's a very special day for Cammie. She's at the spring fashion show at school and she's showing off her new cheerleader uniform. She'll be here any time. We need to hurry up and get done decorating. All right, all right. Where are you want the boys to go? Um, just put them wherever. Make it look festive. Better than that? Look at that. It's screaming. That's me. Dad, please. Oh, come on, Dad. She always wins. She always gets first place in everything that she did. You just wait. She'll come through that door any minute. She'll be showing us her first place for. I've been robbed. I'm ruined. What happened, Cammie? Are you okay? Cammie, what happened to the fashion show?
and then come up the stage, okay? All right. You girls, come on over here. This is going to be super duper fun. This is the part of the day when we get to take a little closer look at this month's character trait. There she is, my girl. All right, come on over here. And if you haven't said it enough already, um, why don't we go over the definition one more time on the count of three. I'm going to move this while you guys are saying it, so I'm going to set my mic down, okay? On the count of three. One, two, three. Friendship. Anyway, I bet you're wondering why this seesaw is up here. And I'm going to tell you, I have no idea. I'm just kidding. I kind of do know. Anyway, this seesaw is going to help me to demonstrate this month's character trait of friendship. Everybody see this where it says friendship right here? All right, and how it's up and it's, real, it's up really high. You don't see it? Okay, groovy. All right. Let's take a look real quick at what we've learned so far about this month's character trait of friendship. Mr. Webster, get it, Webster's Dictionary. Mr. Webster tells us that friendship is being with someone that is kind, helpful, and supportive of you. And we all want to be good friends, right? We all want to be somebody that other people can count on and be supportive of. But what happens when, like, stuff happens where it kind of gets you down or somebody says something that's not for guys and you just feel kind of heavy and just kind of blah with your day? That kind of stuff does happen, doesn't it? And this, this stone right here, or weight as we'll call it, is going to represent those kinds of things when you're having a bad day. See how it brings friendship down? Kind of a bummer. Do you see that? Yes. Go like this. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So what this this next part of our little our little spiel up here is going to be where my volunteers come in. Okay, they are going to give us examples of what maybe they have done before or ideas of what you can do to help other people to feel better about themselves when they're having a bad day or if they're just feeling down. Okay, so at this point we're going to introduce our volunteers, and I'm going to have you step up here. What's your name? Callie. Hey, Callie. How are you? Okay, can you give us an example of something that you have done for someone to make them feel better if they're kind of having a bummed out day or they're just not feeling very good? Play with them at recess. Play with them at recess. That sounds like a great idea, doesn't it? That would make me feel better. All right, I'm going to have you put this weight over here on this end. Awesome. Okay, come over here. Walk over here. See you Good job. Okay, we're going to move on to our next volunteer. What's your name? Candace Jane Pomp. Okay, Candace Jane Pomp. What have you done to make somebody feel good about themselves? Okay, Candace Jane Pomp. What I don't know if you guys heard that, but she picked flowers for her mom when she was sick. That is so sweet. That's awesome, Candace. Go ahead and put your weight over there. Come on over here. Place it in the. Nice. Okay. Okay, last but not least, what's your name? Ella. Hey, Ella, how are you? What is something that you have done that has made somebody else feel better about them? Or an act of kindness? Cheer them up. Cheer them up. I think that's a good idea. I love it, I love it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have Ella put her stone over here in this one. Now watch what happens. Ready? Ooh. Awesome! Isn't that neat? All of your amazing acts of kindness took friendship from down here and brought it way up here. And that's what being a friend is all about, isn't it? Isn't that awesome? Let's give our volunteers a big round of
on a, such a day that you're so sad. Get some stuff on your cheek there. <laughs> okay, well, ready for this? We're going to cheer you up. She got the perfect cheer for you. Cammy, oh, oh, this has got to be a cold. Okay, just sit back. <laughs> roll call. Sha sha bula sha 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 bula. Roll call. My name is Gloria. I'm Gloria's mom. I'm here to tell you the truth of the bone. Roll call. Sha sha bula sha 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 bula. Roll call.
or to help them out, maybe cheer them up, or a high five, that's a great idea. I'll take one more suggestion. Oh, I'm gonna pick someone saying nice and quiet, showing me that they're ready to listen. Bring your bed.